I can't believe they want $720 to fix my car. My car's probably not even worth that much. That's Steve. I really need a coffee. You could go to the break room if you want. I don't mind holding down the fort. I'm not drinking that crap. I want my Starbucks peppermint mocha like I always get. But I'm dead broke. Life has been so stressful lately. I wish God would just throw me a bone or something. Girl, do you have God on speed dial or something? Because look at that total smoke show that just walked in. Oh my gosh, that's Ryan Demaris. Hmm? I had the biggest crush on him in high school. I can see why. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to him. Why are you taking that off? I can't let him know that I work here. He would never go out with me. Hmm. Cute. Watch this. <laughs> oh. Hey there. Can I help you find anything? Yeah, do you guys carry protein powder here? Oh, yeah, we sure do. <laughs> I was actually thinking about getting some myself. <laughs> Were you looking for a whey or soy? Soy. That was a fat wrench in my plan. Who is that anyway? Oh, that's Zach, the new guy. Ew, they'll hire just about anyone nowadays. Hey, come on, be nice. You don't even know him. Uh, I'll be right with you. Come on. Perfect. Well, just uh, let me know if you need anything. Thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Ryan? Sabrina, what? So <laughs> funny bumping into you here. Yeah, it's good to see you. What, what are you doing here? Oh, um, I'm just picking up um, some protein. Oh, yeah, I mean, you clearly work out. I mean, you look great. Um, so, how was your Christmas? Uh, what, what, what are you doing nowadays? Oh, I'm just, you know, keeping busy, and I'm actually um, a creative director for a big luxury brand. What? Yeah, nothing crazy, though. <laughs> nothing crazy? That's, that's really impressive. Congratulations. I mean, you, clearly you're killing it. Stop it. What about you? <laughs> well, I'm actually opening up my own gym. Yeah, I just signed a... Uh, the lease uh, on a building today. And it's always been my dream. I figured what better way to tackle my dream than for New Year's. No way, that's so crazy because I was actually thinking of joining a gym. So Hey, you're I Sabrina, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you, you left your apron at the register. What are you talking about? That's not mine. Really? It has your name tag on it. Mm. <sighs> <sighs> That chubby, pepperoni-faced piece of crap. Seb! Ryan seemed like he was really into me. And then Zach came in and ruined it all. I mean, you shouldn't have been lying about your job in the first place. It wasn't a total lie. I'm creative. <laughs> and I work for a brand. What about the director part? I direct people. <laughs> okay, fine. I may have exaggerated a little bit. For sure. Uh, sorry to bother you. Can you help? Um, can't you see I'm on a break? Go bother someone else. I'll be right with you, okay? You didn't have to be so rude. Whatever. Ooh, can I get a bite of your sandwich? Sure. What is your lunch? Don't you know how expensive Uber Eats and Postmates are after all the fees? It's bad enough I have to pay for an Uber to work every day. I really need to get my car fixed. I would offer to give you a ride, but we live in opposite directions. I get it. Are you kidding me? Could this day get any worse? Hey, Sabrina, I just want to let you know I am assigning you a new shift mate. Great.
can't you just assign me another shift mate? Literally anybody. He's just gonna slow me down. Hey, he is a great worker. Give him a chance. Uh, sure he is. If he were a sloth, be nice. Hey, good morning, shift mate. Is it a good morning? Mm hmm Can you not stand so close to me? Oh. You can stock the chicken over there. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're doing it wrong. You have to bring the items to the front of the shelf so it's easier for the customer. It makes the shelves look full of merchandise. It's elementary. Yeah, uh, my bad. I'll, I'll fix it. Excuse me? Hmm? Is there Zach in here? Yes, that's me. Yeah. Thank you. Make sure you give me a five stars. Yeah. Five stars. Hey. Wow. Of course someone like you would order yourself two drinks. No. Oh, I actually got you one, too. I heard you like the peppermint mocha. You got me a Starbucks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a bit of a Starbucks addict myself. I get it every day. But I figured because we're shift mates, I'll order you one, too. Well, that might be the best idea you've ever had, Zach. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you don't want to pay Apple a couple hundred to... Fix your screen, I could do it for free. Really? Mm hmm. Yeah, I own a, a small business and we repair electronics. Wow, so what are you doing working here? Well, just trying to work on myself. And I was kind of introverted through high school, so I'm just trying to you know, push myself to be more social. <laughs> it's one of the things on my New Year's resolution list. Huh. Well, um, you don't happen to know anything about fixing cars. See you. Hey, thanks again for doing this, Zach. Oh, yeah, don't worry about it. I'm happy to help. You know, you look really good working under the hood of that car. Oh. <clears throat> I'll stop distracting you. Yeah. Um, what's going on? I thought you hated him. I did. That was until he started buying me Starbucks every day and fixing all my stuff. He'll basically do anything for me. How are you getting him to do this for you? Well, I agreed to go out to dinner with him on Sunday night. What? You're making him do things for you? Girl, you shouldn't use people like that. Okay, it's not like he's not getting anything out of it. I mean, this is probably the most attention he's ever gotten from a girl. If anything, I'm doing him a favor. But you don't need to lead him on and eat dinner with him, especially if you don't have feelings for him. Who said I was eating dinner with him? You. You literally just said that you told him that you were going to have dinner with him Sunday night. Keywords, told him. I'm not actually going to show up. You can't be serious. Do you have any idea how messed up that is? I mean, why even tell him that you're going to go in the first place? Because I need someone to buy all of my stuff for me to get ready for my real date with Ryan. Look, we've been messaging back and forth on Insta. Turns out I didn't actually blow it with him. He invited me out to Giovanni's on New Year's Eve. But New Year's Eve is Sunday night. You can't do both. Like I said, I'm not showing up on the date with Zach. That's not cool, Sabrina. You know what they say. The way you treat people always comes back to you. This isn't going to work out. All good now. Looks like it's working out just fine. Oh my gosh, Zach, you're a lifesaver. What would I do without you? Oh, don't mention it. <laughs> For our date Sunday night, guess where I got his reservation? Where? Giovanni's. Oh, oh, you, you did. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? Uh-huh. Um. You know what? Could you just make it an early dinner reservation? I, I just don't like to be out on New Year's. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. Is, is there anything else that you need? Um, well, now that you mentioned that we're going to Giovanni's, I think there's a couple things that I need. Okay, wow. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay.
<clears throat> Finally ready to put an order in? Um, I, th I think I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. If that's okay. I'm sorry, but we have a rule that you can't hold the table for an hour without putting an order in. And I've already given you an hour and a half. Yeah, I understand. If I could just wait a little bit longer, please. If, if she doesn't show up, I'll just leave. So, what do you think? Oh, so cute. But I still don't understand what you're gonna do when you see Zach. Well, I told him to come at seven, so it's not like he's been waiting all Sabrina? this time. I gotta go. Zach, hi. I've been texting and calling you. You clearly have your phone. Oh, um. Wow. I... You look absolutely incredible, Sabrina. Okay, I... These are for you. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, but I'm so excited for our date night. Excuse me. I don't understand. You... You have another date? I thought you liked me. <laughs> For someone who has their own company, you're actually kind of a moron. You know that? I don't actually like you. I was using you. I mean, why would I go for someone like you? I mean, have you seen yourself? You're an overweight, four-eyed, pepperoni-faced nerd with a mop for hair. I mean, a girl like me can't like a guy like you. Now, Ryan, on the other hand, he's the whole package. So if you don't mind, I have a date to get to. It was hands down the best night of my life. Ryan is seriously perfect. He pulled out my chair and walked me to my door and everything. <sighs> it's like my dream guy. Am I right? <laughs> Sabrina, this is Tony, your new shift mate. Oh, what happened to Zach? He quit. You must have really hurt him. Crap. Now I'm not gonna get any more Starbucks. Hey, babe. Bought you a little peppermint mocha, your favorite. Oh my gosh. You're so sweet. I know. I guess that's my karma coming back to me. Uh, what? Sabrina's happy to have finally found her dream guy. Everything seems to finally be falling into place for her. Sabrina and Ryan end up spending a lot of time together. They support each other in their milestones and really hit things off. Over time, they go out on more dates and eventually Ryan even asks Sabrina to be his girlfriend. They spend every holiday together from Valentine's Day to Independence Day. Sabrina can't believe how great things are going with Ryan. But little did she know, several months later, Sabrina is about to be in for a big surprise. Excuse me, young lady. Would you help me Can't find you see I'm busy? I just feel like I'm so happy that Ryan's gym is doing so well, but like, we've barely seen each other. And I just feel like he's been really distant. Why don't you talk to him about... What are you looking at? Is that... Zach? No freaking way! He's like totally hot! He is. Wow. Hey, Zach. Long time no see. Oh, yeah. Hi, Sabrina. You look... Different. I mean, you look really good. Like, like really, really good. Is that a Rolex? Yeah. Oh, thank you. 
I guess you can say my small business is, isn't so small anymore. We've grown to 25 employees, and uh, I actually just saved up for a Porsche. Wow. That's nicer than... Never mind. Hmm. Um, I was thinking we could catch up sometime. Maybe go to lunch or dinner? Hmm. I appreciate the invite, but uh, I just don't feel like being stood up again. Oh. I'm so sorry about that. Hey, I... don't be. You see, last year, I focused my New Year's resolutions on taking care of myself. And that's exactly what happened. <laughs> I adopted a skin and hair routine. I changed out my clothes and changed out the glasses for contacts. And, and once I left here, I joined a gym. And I met a whole bunch of great people and got shape. Yeah, it's, a, it's actually thanks to my trainer. Wait, you guys know each other? Not only that, but I know all about what you did to Zach. You started training with me this past summer. At first I didn't realize that um, you were the one he was talking about. But when I found out that you were the one that was using him and standing him up, I couldn't be with somebody like that. Oh, wait, wait, Brian, are, are you- Breaking up with you? Yes, I am. But we have dinner plans. What about what about New Year's Eve? Zach, hmm? you like Giovanni's, right? Yeah, I love Giovanni's, but I, I, yeah, I could use a cheat meal. There it is. Sabrina. No, 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 no. Baby no. girl, I try to warn you. The way you treat people always has a way of coming back to you. Sabrina, we need to talk about the way you've been treating the customers. 